Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to uh, do a quick video um, that is actually based on another video uh, by Super Jacob that I have uh, seen recently. Uh, we'll, um, so all credits go to Super Jacob's video that inspired me to do this video. Um, it's the video that is about um, luxury prices reduction. Uh, so I will put the link down below so that you can refer back to his video. Um, but in summary, he's um, alerted us to uh, alleged um, phenomenon where by luxury brands are starting to have some price reduction certain brands and um, in that uh, video he also discussed how there may be other ways that um, other brands could be doing these price reductions um, and since watching that video I've taken a bit more of a I guess uh, attention to uh, my uh, regular Hermes website browsing I have gotten into a habit of just really just looking through items on Hermes not really kind of wanting to buy everything but just to check out what's new what's available um, so background is I live in Australia and so if you also live on, in Australia you would have known that Hermes don't have a lot of products on the Hermes uh, online website um, so for us uh, folks in Australia we don't uh, get you know petite H range um, even though you can see it there but there's just nothing that you can click um, only recently we've got a furniture and lighting section um, which is uh, interesting for me to see just to have a look at all these uh, very uh, exorbitant uh, prices on there but you know they are eye candies for me and I do like to look at the aesthetics different types of aesthetics just to more as a learning um, because I am quite I guess new to the hobby of uh, fashion and luxury items furniture homewares and makeup all of that you know pre my previous interest was more around food um, anyway that's a story for another time of why I've moved away from that hobby um, but yeah so you know that's the reason why I just regularly browse and you know I have noticed uh, recently that there's actually a lot more items that's available online um, you know what what was you know usually when we click into bags there's absolutely nothing apart from you know this very interesting and not my type of style of kabaz bag which you know costs quite a lot uh, for what it is with um, just pages on a slant going everywhere totally not something I would go for um, and also in the small leather goods you know usually there wouldn't be a lot of items found I'll see whether it's still here um, it might have gone by now because I was actually quite surprised to find a um, a uh, mini Constance uh, I think that's what it's called oh Mm, no, nah, it's gone now. Oh, okay. I did this video a tad too late. Um, someone's added to their cart and purchased it. But I will just show you because um, I did save it onto my phone with the wish list. I'll just pull this. Um, there you go. It's timestamp. So, you know this is what I found um, just a few days ago um, a constant slim sorry not a mini constant a, a constant slim wallet um, in lizard if I remember correctly um, and I took a screenshot not because I'm actually interested in um, buying this but more just as a reference um, when I kind of suddenly the idea of making this video came to me um, so I took a, a screenshot um, just so that you know I got documentation that you know it was actually in fact there online um, on the 29th of February um, with the retail price of $11,000 um, 
and you know this and you can see he add to cart you can and I've actually tried adding to, to my cart and it was successful which never ever happened to me in the past like previously um the only other handbag you know or like you know I guess a one of those you know sought after leather good item that I was able to capture on screen was this um Lindy 26 bag uh, that was back in July and look Oops, the selected object is no longer available. It always happens when I click on add to bag for whatever um, handbag or, you know, sort of the leather good that I find on um, the Australian website. As soon as I click add to cart, it's, it's you know, it's, it's always just gone by that time. So things, you know, just fly off the online website um, very quickly um, in Australia. But yeah, it was very, I was very surprised to actually find it, you know, even just this morning when I checked before I decided to um, make this video on the 4th of March, um, it was still there this morning, that Constance um, wallet. So, you know, it didn't go for a few days, which tells me like maybe they are not um, selling as well. Um, you know, similarly like these wallets, never find them previously on the websites. Um, and you know there's just more and more style and leather uh, which again just tells me at least in the Australian online store the products are not flying off the shelf um, as quickly as it used to be look at how many um, items there are this has never happened in the Australian online website ever since I started taking an interest in Hermes um, almost a, a year now, for a year now you know all these different colors, they've even got the glasses case which you know um, I think is a new one um, or, or maybe it's just never made it into the Australian um, territory because it just gets snatched up previously. There's always this loop wink glasses case, which I just don't really understand the aesthetics of that. It's probably too cute for me. Um, and yeah, like, you know, this me wallet you know these are the things that wouldn't even get the chance to appear on the website um the other thing i've noticed is um i'm, I'm a sucker for stationery so i do like to look at their stationery range as well but you know not 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 bougie as bougie as buying you know the uh, refills and papers and you know I think I would not want to write them write on them which defeats the purpose of buying stationery um, but just looking at the book covers um, maybe they're finally realizing that people don't want to um, keep on buying their very expensive uh, notebook refills that they've introduced these um, universal notebook cover uh, which I believe you can just slot in any A5 um, size book. Now previously they only have this range um, which has the zipper. I think it's called the easy zip um, book cover. Let me see if I can find it back. Uh, yeah, so this is how the universal notebook cover look like. Yeah, no, they don't have it now. Um, maybe it's because it's sold out or whether they, you know, just decided that not too many people uh, want to spend that amount of money to buy um, book cover. So, uh, which I think it was this one. Yeah, see, $1,420 for this easy a5 verse or book cover um, so it's exactly the same I, I mean I've never gotten the chance to actually see it in person because it's not stock um, in the boutique store in Sydney but um, it looks like when 
I didn't screen cap the other um, picture, but it looked exactly the same as the other universal cover, except this one's got a uh, zipper compartment where you can, I guess, put receipts and loose pieces of paper in. Um, but yeah, $1,420. Um, compare with, you know, I'll just click into this to show you. Um, the Ulysses, they don't call it e-zip because there's no zipper now, but the Ulysses Universal Notebook Cover. Um, yeah, so it, it's just very simple uh, with the pockets for you to slide the covers of the notebook. Um, so it can hold any type of A5 notebook into the cover. Cost is $1,085 in comparison to $1,420 with the extra zipper pocket. So yeah, I think, um, are they, you know, as um, Super Dacov has mentioned, are they sneakily sliding in new products? that is priced lower than they otherwise would have uh, previously. Um, I don't know, allegedly. Um, just my speculations and perspective, like is that the reason why? Um, and I guess no one would really know um, unless you work, you know, uh, in a high, higher higher level within Hermes, I would say. Um, but yeah, looking at the silver range, um, you know, it's never been so stocked on the online website. Um, you know, it's just never really happened. Um, you know, every now and then you will get like, you know, a replenishment of one item but then it will be quickly gone so that you know unless you sort of watch the website like a hawk which i kind of almost do because i just got into a habit of you know looking at some eye candies um once a day whenever i have some you know five minutes to spare i just you know take a look um yeah it's it's never happened this way which is uh pretty interesting um given what's happening now um, yeah so um what do you guys think um have you been to the physical Hermes um, stores recently i think i last went uh at the uh, sort of at the end of january so almost um you know one and a half no two months ago now and um it was still pretty busy in the in the in the boutique um in sydney um, still lots of people uh, shopping. There's no lines outside. Um, I think um, Hermes in Sydney have stopped asking people to wait outside line up um, uh, sort of many months ago now. They just kind of ask you to go in and browse around and they'll let you know as soon as, you know, a sales associate is, um, is available to assist you. Um, but otherwise you sort of allow to just wander around freely within the store, uh, which is much nicer than sort of lining up uh, outside, um, outside, outside the boutique. Um, but yeah, no, it was um, still quite crowded uh, last time I went. Um, it'll be interesting. Uh, I've got an upcoming uh, appointment soon to, to go in um, to maybe finally get my, um, you know, get a belt um, that I've been sort of contemplating about um, to get a dress belt. Um, so yeah, no, I'll be it will be interesting to see whether there's still many clients uh, within the store. Um, but yeah, look, um, is it are we going to be, you know, seeing uh, products that is of a more entry price point? Um, are we seeing more products being not sold as quickly as previously? Just my speculation, not not based on any facts, um, or is it just the Hermes fairy finally realised that there is a, you know, a country called Australia that um, has been deprived of their stock, 
um, is that the reason why we see more stocks on the online website that is available for us to order uh, from Australia I don't know um, I guess only time will tell um, but this is definitely an interesting space uh, for us luxury lovers to uh, to follow um, and yeah if you like this uh, video please consider subscribing to my channel um, if you enjoy this video uh, give it a thumbs up it really helps with the algorithm um, and please don't forget to um, take a look at super Jacob's uh, channel um, I'll put the link below on the specific video that he's um, discussed in his live show on uh, price reductions um, and um, I've you know Without Jacob's video, I wouldn't be making this video myself. Um, so I hope he doesn't mind me uh, borrowing his idea and um, following up uh, with the conversation. Um, so until next time, you all take care and have a uh, wonderful time. Thank you. Bye.